A woman stood chained in a square, ignoring the people gawking and whispering. A sign around her neck proclaimed why she stood there. Her crime? Murder. Daria Saltikova has since been compared to Hungary's Countess Bathory, though Daria was never accused of bathing in her victim's blood. Born March 11th or 13th, 1730, depending on what calendar you use, Daria was a member of the Russian nobility. Naturally, she married another titled Russian, Gleb Saltikov, from a family well-connected with the Russian court. A distant cousin would be Catherine the Great's lover, and a nephew would tutor the Empress's son. The marriage, however, proved a short one. Gleb died, leaving her a widow with two children. Both children would die by their mid-twenties. Daria was left alone on a large estate with the land worked by serfs. Serfs were not actually slaves, but they were not entirely free either. The condition of serfdom was initially created to prevent the labor force from moving. In effect, it tied individuals to the land they were born on. While they could be punished, even physically, one could not actually torture them. In practice, it was far more complicated, and Catherine the Great, the then ruler, wouldn't have much success at reforming it. What matters is that these serfs couldn't leave, not even when rumors started. Young women went to work for Daria and were never seen or heard from again. Some whispered a woman was seen being carried away with her hair gone and chest blade. Others told tales of her beating the girls with logs, throwing boiling water on their exposed limbs, and even crushing a pregnant woman's belly under her boot. Many believed this was due to jealousy on the part of the aging noble. Though all this is said to have occurred, no punishment initially arrived for the noble woman. Complaints made their way out of the estate slowly, and with great risk on the part of the serfs complaining. Most simply didn't make it far in the corrupt Russian justice system. It's only in 1762, when a man runs away and manages to make it to the capital, St. Petersburg, that anything is done. This man kneels before Catherine the Great and explains what Daria has been doing. Daria Saltikova is arrested and held for six years during an investigation. During that time, she maintained that she did nothing wrong. She held to the belief that she'd merely been punishing her serfs. The investigation found her guilty of beating 38 female serfs to death. As punishment, Daria was publicly humiliated in a Moscow square with a plaque around her neck, but that wasn't the only part. Catherine the Great, influenced by Enlightenment philosophy, wanted to signal that Russia had legal systems that could fairly handle such cases. It helped also to lift the nation in the world's eye when the Empress's cause to remove serfdom failed. However, she couldn't execute a noble if she wanted to keep her throne. In the end, Daria was imprisoned for life in a cloister. She would live in a dungeon in a windowless room. She would only be allowed out once a week to attend religious services. However, she remained there for only 11 years before being transferred to a monastery and a room with a window. There, she lived for three decades. She died in November 1801 at the age of 71, never repenting for her cruelty. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Leave a like if you want. There's always more history.